Hi and welcome to another training video. This time we're going to look at the new RVAHJ uh, app that we've just been released. The easiest and quickest way of doing this of course is to go onto your smartphone and download the app directly from the iPhone store or the uh, Android Google store. You can however also go directly onto the internet onto your computer and go to a web version based and log in that way which is what we're going to show here right now so in your browser up at the top bar there we type in www.rvahj.teamapp.com now this should take us straight to the page for the web page as you can see here so this is the public viewing web page that we have that we put together um, there's my details Paul Marcher training director and setting this up and you can see here that you have certain things which are public and other things which are not which are grayed out until you become a member so the quickest and easiest way here is you can either where it says restricted access here you can log in once you've uh, become a member or you can click on sign up <clears throat> and it will take you to the sign up to the team app page uh, once you're there you put in your email uh, whatever password that you wish to use you confirm the password put in your name and details as indicated there and then click on the agreed terms and then press submit this will then provide you with the opportunity uh, for you to then register for the team app and then once you are in there you can then do a search for the RVA HJ so let's just log in this is what you'll get uh, and how it will look once we're in you'll get this blank in this case and you type up in the search bar RVAHJ and you can see here that there is an app called the RVAHJ you click on this and then you will be given access at a public level uh, which will make other functions available and then an email will be sent to the administrator which even myself and then we will give give you approval for the the groups and then you'll have access to all the other sections within there so let's just go back and have a look at the the app itself at the home level and in here you can see we have the news we have news that we can bring in um, about this isn't about the app itself we got events that we can put in um, we have details about who the directors are uh, which will be filled out shortly uh, we have photos uh, from events that have occurred there's a social media button which will allow you with a direct link into the LinkedIn web page um, and also uh, there is a YouTube page which we're using for training videos and the currently the power of attorney training for 2015 there's five videos there which you can go through for the different levels of the power of attorneys uh, that are currently active for you to look at uh, and you can of course go straight to the web page uh, there is availability to to review and look at the custodies magazine uh, which will then come up and allow you to be able to download this as a PDF and you can make this smaller and you can see the uh, the range of things that are there and at a later stage we will start bringing in resources uh, look at sponsors like we use with the state trustees etc for it so you can see there there's a number of things that we can help us communicate with you our members and provide you with an up-to-date information and any changes that come in uh, you will be directly notified quickly and easily for it so if you have any questions, please send me an email at training uh, at rvahj.org.au or call Kathy and she will pass a message on to me and we will get back to you and help out with whatever we can. So as I said, you can go to the app at the Apple iStore or the Google Play Store and directly download this onto your phone. So thank you very much, good luck, and I hope to see you soon through the app. Bye for now.